look at that. This is the floodlight camera. So you can see two super bright floodlights here. You have two very nice Wi-Fi antennas and a nice camera lens. Right, today we have a slightly new product. I did one video on a similar product before, but today we have a smart floodlight camera from my friends over it. They were nice enough to send us this 3K Ultra HD security floodlight camera. As you can see, it has two massively bright floodlights on it with a nice security camera. So we're gonna go on the overhead rig, we'll go through the unboxing, then we'll download their app. We'll show you how to pair this device with your app and show you exactly how this 3K Ultra HD smart floodlight security camera actually works. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and let's check out the Smart Floodlight security camera. All right, so let's open up our 3K Ultra HD security floodlight camera. You can see there is no monthly fee with this device, and it works with Google Home. This is the Floodlight Cam Pro, and really, other than this picture, this just has company information and the sticker. You can see the sticker there, and then just company logo, and company logo and company logo and nothing. So let's open this on up to break our seal and take a look at it and see what we got here. So I'm going to open this way and this way. Oh, look at this. Wow. So we have an included 24 seven monitoring sticker. I love these. To me, these are really great deterrents for criminals. And we have an included little quick start guide. It goes over everything that you get here, which I love that. And I think next is, is our camera. So let me figure out this foam here. So we'll, uh, that's just foam. So this looks like maybe the mounting piece. Looks like maybe you'd mount this to the wall and uh, be able to run your cables through. Not certain yet. I've got to really take everything out first. Then this is your three cables, your positive, negative, and ground for wiring the floodlight camera. Look at that. This is the floodlight camera. So you can see two super bright floodlights here. You have two very nice Wi-Fi antennas and a nice camera lens. There is even, looks like under here, you have a, a USB-C port, you have a reset button and an SD card slot all underneath this little flap. Looks like your speakers in the back here. And I don't fully know what these are covering, but my guess is maybe sensors. We'll take these off. And so that's, uh, that's the camera there. Very, very nice in my opinion. These are adjustable so they can be pointed up or down that's kind of up to you and uh let's set this over here for now and we've got like a couple of other things here and included a usb c cable and this is like a hook to uh, help hold the device when you're trying to mount it and even some screws here and then here is some more screws and things needed for mounting it to the wall wire nuts and all that kind of stuff and uh, that seems to be it for the box so this is everything that comes inside of the package for this Floodlight Cam Pro. Now we're going to download the app and get this installed to show you the setup process. Well, let's do that now. All right, so now we're going to go through the setup process with this Floodlight camera. So first things first, I'm installing a class 10 32 gigabyte micro SD card. This will allow me to record everything locally instead of having a cloud service. So this goes right in the bottom here at the SD card, at the SD card slot here. So slide that into place. Then we have a reset button and a USB-C port. So with this USB-C port, I'm going to be able to give this camera power so that I can set it up, get it on my Wi-Fi, show you how the setup process works, without having to deal with running all these cables. I'll then just run these cables once it's set up and the camera will be up and working. So let's use our included USB-C cable. And I'm gonna run this side to a USB-A port over here at my desk. And then we will uh, plug in the USB-C cable here on the bottom. There we go, see our green light? That means 
that our camera is powered on. So we'll give the camera a moment to boot up. I'll then scan this QR code to download their app in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Now our green light is flashing. So this is the app here. We'll click install. And once this app is installed, create yourself an account, log into the account, and then we'll show you what to do next. I can also say we have a green flashing light here, so that should be a good sign. So this is what the app looks like. With our green flashing light, I'll click add device. It wants nearby permissions for Bluetooth, so we'll allow that. And look at that, it already found it. Floodlight camera, I don't have to do anything. Just click add. Now I'm gonna select my Wi-Fi network with wireless and enter in our Wi-Fi password. Now with our password in, we'll click continue is connecting to your Wi-Fi network. It may take a moment. Please wait for a while. Well, I can say the speaker on this thing is phenomenal. So I'm gonna let this do its thing and connect to the Wi-Fi. Save settings successfully. Oh, well, that was, uh, that was quicker than I thought it'd be, actually. <laughs> So it seems to be like following me around the room. So that was uh, beyond easy. We'll click continue. Uh, I'll actually leave the name as Floodlight Cam. So we'll just leave it named that. And that's gonna go through the steps of how to install this camera. So you would want to uh, select what you want, whether you want the cloud storage or local. I'm picking the local and then put in your SD card. We've already did that. So we'll let it reset now that the SD card is in and it should recognize that SD card. There you go. It sees the micro SD card. So we'll click continue. And do we want all time recording or recording by events? So I'm going to go with all time recording. That way this camera will record all the time. Now it's going through some of the uh, installation guides, North America or non-North America, and it gives you steps of exactly how to do all this. There we go. The camera's been added. And so from here, I can uh, do a few things. Now we can go into settings here. You can see we have the name, camera on, the scheduled sleep is disabled, the light settings are enabled, AI detection. Looks like a lot of that's enabled and included, it looks like. Detection settings are enabled. You can come in here and change the sensitivity and stuff. Auto cruise is disabled, notifications. Local recording mode, all time recording. So that's pretty awesome. Video and audio, it is set to 3K. It is set to auto night vision. We'll turn the speaker all the way up and it will record sound and you can have the LED status light on or off. You can share the device and it will work with Alexa and Google. And then of course, reconnect and firmware and stuff like that. So here are your pan and tilt settings. They're just right here. If you click settings up here, it takes you into those same settings as you saw in the other window. You do have the option to change to SD or UHD and this will mute it. So now I won't have that annoying echo. So right here is where you could record a video clip. You can also come down here to talk to the camera if you would like to talk to somebody and to use the light, it needs to be plugged in. So I can't show you the light. There is an alarm though. And if I was to click here, it would start recording a video where I could then turn this up at me and say, and this is a daytime audio video test on the floodlight camera. And then click that button and it saved that in the album. Also go and test the microphone real quick. Let's try that now. This is a speaker test on the floodlight camera. And the only thing that I think I missed here is this button, which uh, you throw up a peace sign and click it, takes a screenshot. And I think that'll do it. And there you have it. That will essentially do it for this 3K Ultra HD security floodlight camera. Now, unfortunately, I am not able to install this device just due to how my house is set up. I don't have a uh, floodlight spot to actually be able to put this. So I can't show you how bright the light is. That part really bums me out. Luckily, you're able to see the 3K picture quality, amazing, stunning picture quality from this floodlight camera, as well as a completely amazing speaker. Truly one of the best speakers that I think I've heard on any camera that I've used. In terms of the settings, I love the fact that you can put in a micro SD card and let it record 24 seven. That is definitely what I would recommend. If you get this camera, definitely get you a big micro SD card, and then you'll have 24 seven recording right here on this device. Once you wire it with those three little wires and replace your old floodlight. So of course, I'll have this exact floodlight camera linked down below in my description if you'd like to grab one for yourself. And that should do it for today's video. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And we'll see you in the next one. Deuces.